The other thing I'm going to talk about before we close today is the paragraph function. So I did all of these in different text boxes, so the paragraph didn't really make any difference for me. Now I've got this one with two lines on the same text box. So I want to talk about the regular old alignment, left, center, and right. Since I've got a lot of things already right aligned, I'm going to right align this as well. These are only effective if you've got paragraphs that you're working with, which we do not, so we're not going to worry about those. The only thing that you might want to uncheck is hyphenate. It doesn't affect mine, but if you were to have a, a large body of text, sometimes it will hyphenate some of your words, which you might not want it to do. So you only have to worry about these things if you have a larger body of text. All right, so I will just double check this last one that I made, see that it's where I want it to be, and that the text is where I want it to be too, as far as the effects that I can do to it. I think that works pretty good. Now I have a lot of space down here, and I don't really want to leave that space down there. So I'm going to select all of these layers by clicking on the last one, holding down shift, clicking on the first one. And if I have my move tool selected, I can just press the down arrow and it will slowly move down. I think that looks like a pretty good spot for it. And again, if you wanted to, you could put a picture on the front and the back. Actually, most of my examples had fronts and backs. Like this one had kind of an opposite effect to it. Whatever you want to try to do, you're welcome to give a go here. And that should conclude our business card tutorial. So you have the front and the back. Try to make it look like the two go together by using some of the same fonts or pictures that are similar or some of the same effects, or whatever you feel like you need to do to make it work for you. Good luck with your business cards.